um, is a diverse country. Um, as you know that in South Africa we've got 11 languages that are being spoken, but 12 languages, including the sign language. So, as a Tosa speaking person, my language on the south, on, on the, on the, what, originally from the Eastern Cape, is the most difficult language that you can speak, or that another person can speak because of the clicks. Uh, so, in the Western Cape or in Cape Town, we're using three languages. That is English, Afrikaans, that is Brandon's mother tongue, and then my mother tongue, that is Tkosa. So, um, out of that, I can try his language. I, but I understand what, when, when he's speaking, but sometimes, you see, sometimes it depends <laughs> on the attitude of that day or maybe on the, uh, on a particular day. But I'll, I'll tell you a story. When I'm angry, I can speak Afrikaans very well. <laughs> when I'm angry, I can speak Afrikaans. Even Brandon can speak Afrikaans. But you see, Brandon will attest on that because uh, in there is a language that we added. That is the thirteenth one. No, Brandon, that is the Tutsi Tal. <laughs> yeah, the Tutsi one. Yeah, Tutsi one. So Tutsi is a slang. It's a local slang language. So I can communicate with him. You see, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a slang that. There is the fourteenth one that was created in the mines. That is called Fanakalo. Fanakalo was was created, but it's not officially. It's not an official language. It was created in the mines when mines were when the, when the mining started to grow in the because they started to discover the diamond in the northwest and then uh, later in Johannesburg and the other parts of Johannesburg they discovered gold, silver, platinum, and then a, a lot of people. Um, um, his favorite politician, Julius Malema, he told that uh, uh, people think that Johannesburg was, was built by the people of Johannesburg or people of South Africa. Apparently, Johannesburg was built by the Africans. When the Africans came from different countries, more especially the neighboring countries, I'm talking about Mozambique, Tanzania, um, uh, Botswana, Lesotho, when they came to work in the mines, so they didn't, they didn't have a language but they are from different countries so they they use the fanakalo uh, it, it's a it's a mixture of those languages uh there was a book that we were reading at, at school that had a fanakalo language um this phrase was going like this when i forget that was like that it, 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 it's something that includes all the languages each one here one word and each one one here one word and it that, that's how they were talking to each other yeah yeah, folks. Now we are we are going to the to the uh, castle of Good Hope. Um, it's history. As you know, that uh, Cape Town is called the Mother City. Why is it called the Mother City? Everything started in Cape Town. Was born in Cape Town. I'm talking about colonization. Started in Cape Town. Um, um, uh, segregation, um, um, apartheid, everything started in Cape Town, everything was born here, it's the mother of all things, so that's why it's called the mother city. So, folks, um, I'm, I'm, I'm that tourist guide, who is my phone? I'm that tourist guide who allows, who, who want people, because you are sharpening me, by asking a lot of questions. I appreciate that. Um, you see, tour guides in Cape Town, they always, yeah, uh, these people are asking stupid questions. There's no question that is so stupid. Every question that you ask, you why you ask the question because you wanna know. And uh, as a human being, I always say, if I don't know a question, I say, I don't know. You see, sometimes there's question that comes that you don't know. You must say that, I don't know, I'll go and make a research. But I don't mean that I'll, I'll, I'll say, I don't know. But I'll try by, by, <coughs> by all my, my knowledge to, uh, to answer your questions. Every question is allowed. That's how we are going to enjoy the tour. From, from the Cape Castle of Group, we are going to District 6. I don't think the museum is open today because it's Sunday. If it's open, praise God. From the District 6, the land, 
we are going to go to my township in Langa. Langa, L-A-N-G-A. That means S-U-N, the sun. And then I will tell you everything when we come to Langa. That's my township. Yeah, friends. And, uh, um, yeah. If you can step down just a little bit so we see a perfect height. Oh. <laughs> okay, provided. Okay. Yes, I'm a Wutu. Oh, the three letters. She's asking me if I can repeat the, uh, the letters of the alphabets that are making the click oh, yeah. in my language. That is the letter C. It goes. Then the other letter is letter X. We call a frog in my language. E cock. E cock. The big frog, there are different frogs. There's a frog that looks like it's got pimples, the big one. Yeah, that is called E cock. And then we, we've got the letter Q that goes E cock. Yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give you a phrase. I said you must remind me. I'll give you a phrase. And um, uh, Brendan, it does your 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 your, your radio has got um, a Bluetooth? Yes. Okay, no problem. Yeah, I'll just play the song. I'll sing along. It's a, it's called the click song. Um, I believe that you know the lady, but um, who, yeah, who who play, who played a, a, a vital role in the struggle um, against apartheid regime. Um, uh, his, uh, her music was very, very, very vital. There is uh, um, one of my favorite songs that he that she was singing that is called <coughs> The African Sunset. But she's singing in my language, but the title says The African Sunset. So she's, she's singing about the land, that the land has been taken away from us. Yeah. Yes. The sign language. Why is that so predominant? The, 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 the sign language. Why, why is it so predominant? It's, it's just that there, there are people that are called the disabled people. So the disabled people are. They've got. Di they, are, they are different. Some others can't walk. Some others can't hear. Some others can't see. My brother. Um, yeah, you can. No, yeah, get in here, get in here. Sorry. So, so, so it, uh, it, 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 it's for those who can't. It's for those who can't hear and those who can't speak. So it, it helps them even to when they are watching the news, so to understand what what, what is being spoken. Yeah. So to, just to understand. It's deep. It's deep. Yeah, for for them to, to for them to understand, for them to be involved. Yeah. And uh, I remember in one of the funerals, uh, in one of the funerals in in South Africa, I don't know, maybe it was Winnie Mandela's funeral, and then there was a complaint that the lady was just interpreting, was was not was not was not interpreting what was said. So there are those people that can speak and then know understand the sign language. So there was a complaint that they, this lady didn't. Oh, that was, that was at her funeral, right? Yeah, it was, yeah, it yeah. was in a funeral yeah, on, on national that. TV. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so when we come out of the bars, um, we, we just gonna, we just gonna go that side, left, left hand side. Then we we just gonna go in front of the of the of this castle. Then I will explain everything. That's how I do things. I explain everything before we come. Even even before we go to Langa, we're gonna stop at the entrance of Langa. I'll explain everything so that when we come into Langa, so that you will know. And then you you'll ask me a lot of questions based on what I've said. And then we'll visit all those places that I've I've, I've explained to you. Yeah. So yes, sir. The lady that was doing sign language, she wasn't qualified or didn't like, 
translate more. She was intentionally. She, not I, 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 it's a personal opinion of what I'm going to say. You, you, you see, I'll make an example. If, if you are new in the tourism industry, um, when I was new, a lot of things I couldn't understand. The questions that were asked. Uh, it's like it's like your experience. I think the lady was new in the in the in the thing in the in the interpretation. Most special, they gave they gave her the task of interpreting on the on on the on the national TV in a, just a, a high standard uh, funeral. I mean, they, they just put her on the spot. I think for for the organizers, I think uh, they didn't do a good job for 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 the funeral of that uh, standard. I think she they should have. Um, maybe put someone else who's got an experience. So I, I, I don't blame the lady, I blame the organizers, those who are putting the people accordingly, I mean, on duty. I think his question is more to whether or not she interpreted or she didn't. Like, when you're, if you're saying what I say, yeah. it's not how you feel when you're preparing. <laughs> if you understand me, you can either do no, word, I by, I word by word or yeah. you can leave things out. So that's what they're trying to say. I what, think she, she left some things out and then she was pausing and, and interpreting the others and then left the others behind. Okay. Yeah, so she wasn't actually staying on, on point. No, she was not on point. Okay. Yeah. Do you think that do you point. think that she was purposely not on point or it was a lack of skill? It was a lack of skill. Yeah, it was there a lack go, of skill. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lack uh, of skill. I, I will say because of the world and how the world has highlighted a lot of times we call conspiracy because you find out historically that they were on some BS. So <coughs> I think for us, uh, coming from America, yeah. we always find out at the end of the day that it was some BS, and I remember that. But like, you know, and, and possibly at yeah, she probably was put on the spot. But yeah, um, he, she started, she's saying that that we we in our country it's not lack of skill; it's things mm. they don't want you to know. Exactly. So <laughs> they they interpret yeah. the, they leave things out that might be controversial. Right. Mm. They leave things out that might make people look bad. Mm. It's not lack of skill. It's the mm. things they don't want you all to share. Mm. That's what she's telling you. Yeah. Or they purposely put someone in that position who was not qualified. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Intentionally. Yeah. yeah. So right. it's not just I woke up so, and it's not so I'm not doing a good job. It's so that you couldn't get the full picture. Yeah. Of so it's meaning that it's not that she's a good person who's struggling. Mm. It's that she's a smart person who's deceiving. Mm. That's what we wanted to. We wanted to yeah. smart people who are deceptive. Mm. Not good people who are struggling Mm. to do their job mm -hmm. that's that's a very different mentality yeah we have very smart people who are being very deceptive purposely so that we don't all have information yeah yeah it might, it might be like this oh so, so he's yeah. changing the answer a little bit ain't he? <laughs> 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 things are developing yeah, here <laughs> she yeah. might have did exactly what she was sent to do right, right. intentionally right, right. Yeah. So, right. Yeah. So, Notice yeah. he's now. Now he's not in. <laughs> 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 <laughs>